All right, well, hi everyone. So we're uh, waiting about one minute and the uh, Honkai Star Rail 2.2 special program should start. I apologize if I sound a little nasally. It is still kind of early for me. Ah, uh, morning yuckies. Um, but yeah, it should be pretty cool. We're gonna have Robin, uh, Boot Hill, Although it doesn't look like we're getting a Boot Hill Chibi, unfortunately. We get Robin, so that's good. Although, it's like, what's Vegeta doing there? <laughs> like, you had, it's like, people love Vegeta, but I'm like, isn't his story done? Then isn't he leaving? But, who knows, maybe he'll, maybe he'll come back in 2.2. That'd be interesting, he'd be kind of like, oh yeah, I, I uh, went off into the abyss, I'm back. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. Oh, actually, I should switch my avatar over. Because this not fantasy. There we go. We're going into the space, into the future. Yep. I have a couple. I have the uh, kind of like fantasy dresses, and then there's more sci-fi, and there's a post-apocalypse, and I got a nice kimono and. There you go. That. Seems like we still have five minutes, so. I'll just turn that down a little bit. Oh. Excuse me. But yeah, we're just gonna check this out. I think I'm pretty sure like the sparkle um uh Honkai Star Rail thing is gonna happen after the stream on another thing, but I probably watch it later. I have a lot of stuff to do and it might it might go on for a while. So but we'll watch this one and then uh go from there. Oh, excuse me. I wish they did in Honkai Star Rail I think would be cool is if they made a cutscene of the train traveling to places um because they they only show it from the inside and I think it would be cool to just have one um like a short one like okay every time we're gonna go to a new world it it plays so it's like we're we're pi uh, we're um where um, Pom Pom goes and says, okay, you know, uh, everybody, we're about to make the jump. And so you see the, the trailblazer and she's you, she, the air getting ready and everything shakes. And then it jumps to the outside of the train so we can see it kind of go. Because um, I know when we watched the one um, Honkai Impact video, it was called Reburn 2. I think it is Reburn 2. And... Um, it was showing the train basically taking off with Carol and Welt in it. And it was just so cool. I get goosebumps every time every time I uh, I watch it. Um 
just because it has that feeling of here we go. So I wish they had something like that in in, uh, in Star Rail. I mean, they do have this, but it doesn't. It doesn't go anywhere. You know. Thirty seconds. Cheap, cheap. <laughs> oh, it's so cheap, 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 Tony's Charmony Festival has entered its countdown phase. The singer Robin, famous throughout the cosmos, has announced in a recent press conference that she will release a new album for the festival. It's for Mikhail. And for the future of Pentatony. Come with me, everyone. Let's deal with these thugs first. And then we'll talk about how to deal with you. Boo, boot hill. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> it's funny. It's like I know that um, uh, a lot of people view view uh, uh, Robin as possibly a lesbian, but I have seen a lot of art of these two just hanging out together, so. I suppose they technically she can be lesbian and they're just friends. Oh. But. I think it's just interesting. Cheap, 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 
<laughs> As I was saying, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Allow me to extend my sincere greetings to all our viewers. Welcome to the version 2.2 special program. Then wait to weep. Long time no see, Albert. I heard you had a nice vacation. Oh, as a matter of fact, I did. The IPC offers wonderful employee benefits. Word on the street is you managed to save the universe during your break. Oh, Director Aventurine, you flatter me. I just helped out a little. It was nothing, really. Why not reward yourself with an extra day or two? And abandon this wonderful artist? Never. I miss them too much. Let's do some introductions, shall we? Considering he only works once viewers. every 40 days. It's a pleasure to be here on the special program. I am Black Swan, a memo keeper from the Garden of Recollection. Hello, everyone. I'm Aventurine from the IPC Strategic Investment Department. Hi, guys. I'm Robin. So happy to see everyone here. A warm <laughs> welcome to each of our special guests. Oh, thanks, Albert. There sure were a lot of interesting details in that trailer. <laughs> it's a pretty big lineup, isn't it? That dashing gunman at the beginning. Wonder what his deal is. Not to mention a certain brother and sister. I'm glad to see Sunday and Robin after everything that's happened. <laughs> there was also a place that looked like an opera house. Is that where the Charmony Festival is being held? Uh, uh, maybe. <laughs> so many guests from so many places. What will the story bring us next? Mm, perhaps we'll gain some insights in today's program. <laughs> oh, can't wait. Hold on, Albert. Who exactly is being referred to in the version 2.2 title, Then Wake to Weep? Doesn't sound like a version filled with sunshine and rainbows. Don't get too hasty now. Uh, Con considering every uh, lot of characters died like Patch. I'm sure everybody is eager to uncover the truth behind the sweet dream. Since Miss Acheron split the family screen in Clock Studios theme park, it's obvious things aren't quite as safe as the family made them out to be. <laughs> Did anyone really believe them in the first place? <laughs> no. Meanwhile, things seem to be heading in a more favorable direction for Mr. Aventurine. There's a secret within the family that goes deeper than any murder mystery. But with the clues we have so far, things don't really add up, right? How do you mean, Miss Robin? For example, Firefly and I were attacked. But when we came to our senses, we didn't have a single scratch. What happened exactly? Mm, you know, Dr. Ratio once told me that in a dream, it's not death that's impossible, but dormancy. Hmm, a thought-provoking idea. And let me remind you, Himiko deciphered a secret passage in the invitation to the Charmony Festival. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Penacote, and thus the answer to the question, why does life slumber? So in other words, you need to enter an impossible dormancy within a dream. Only then can you pull back the curtain and get closer to the Watchmaker's legacy. Dormancy within a dream. Is that like... a dream within a dream? I think there's another possibility. Could it be referring to the other side of the dream? Just like Miss Acheron said at the end of version 2.1, Penacone. The true land of the exiles. Ho oh, ho! On that note, perhaps we could uncover some clues in version 2.2's new map, Dream Flux Reef. Uh, can anyone guess what the connection might be? Hmm. Taking the name at face value, it's a reef that the dreamscape flows past. If the dreamscape can flow like water, then it should be flowing downhill. Could there really be a deeper level to the dreamscape? Could there indeed? 
<laughs> Trailblazers will have to discover the truth for themselves. It's creepy. Like reveal <laughs> is that entering it's this creepy. special domain will require ways and means. In version 2.2's main storyline, the fool always rings twice. Trailblazers will head to this new domain and reunite with some unexpected friends. And let's not forget, the Charmony Festival has also entered the countdown phase. The curtain will soon rise before guests from across the cosmos. Uh, the Charmony Festival. The family's guaranteed security has fallen to pieces. Still, they've done a good job keeping the truth under wraps. I'm curious to see what happens next. They say this Charmony Festival is set to be a grand spectacle, and that a special talent show is going to be held to build up the hype. The talent show, known as the Festivity Auditions, is sponsored by Soul Glad and will take place at the moment of scorched sand. The moment of scorched sand is Panacone's most festive moment. Guests partying all day long. Add in some malt-flavored Soul Glad, and the atmosphere is second to none. Whew, that's right. This place was once devastated by the invasion of memes, but became the site of the festivity auditions after its reconstruction. The family holds these auditions here from time to time to select Panacone's next festive superstar. As you can see, it comes with all the bells and whistles, lighting, stage, effects, you name it. We guarantee the most unforgettable experience for all contestants and audience members. In version 2.2, Trailblazers will need to join the contest with their companions and earn the title of festive superstar. Oh, so you have to win the contest if you want to join the Charmony Festival? Ah, no pressure. <laughs> like American Idol. The <laughs> baseballer is the center of attention, no matter where they go. So, how do the festivity auditions work, exactly? Pass all the audition stages and earn the superstar title for a chance to venture into the Charmony Festival's main venue, the Pentacone Grand Theater. That's right. The Grand Theater is Panacone's most recognizable landmark. If you win the title of Festive Superstar, you can take center stage and join the family in kicking off the Charmony Festival. <laughs> really? Does the winner get to perform on the same stage as you, Robin? What do you say, Miss Robin? Maybe. Or maybe not. If I didn't have so much overtime, I could attend myself. <laughs> Trailblazers! I'll be there with you in spirit! Don't mess it up now! <laughs> Another thing. In the scene we just saw, what were all those strange-looking characters in the theater? What are you calling Vegas. strange looking? Those are official Charmony Festival personnel! <laughs> After all, the opening ceremony is just around the corner. There's still a lot of preparation to do. Well, they're unique, I'll give them that. It seems like some of them are holding glasses, and others are carrying... knives? Those are violin balls. The members of the Sweet Dreams troop, and they'll be playing an important role in the Charmony Festival. Yeah, they'll attack us. <laughs> they look a little on edge. Uh, perhaps they won the final of the auditions. Stage fright is serious, you know. Wait, I, I thought the Trailblazer was supposed to win. <laughs> Director Adventurine, you're a sharp one, all right. Let's just say that anything is possible. <laughs> Next, let's introduce the leading roles who will feature at the Charmony Festival. Okay, like his little glow sticks. Robin's so cute. We have the singer Robin, whose beauty and talent are known throughout the cosmos. I'm sure Miss Robin is no stranger to our viewers. Her gentle elegance as a singer has earned her countless fans from across the universe. No need to flatter me, Albert. I still have plenty to improve on. Oh, don't be so modest. And just so you know, Miss Robin, I'm a fan too. I've got so many collector's edition vinyls, I don't know where to put them. 
Whenever I'm up burning the midnight oil, your singing soothes my weary soul. Just a voice as soft as a feather. <laughs> I appreciate the fanfare, Mr. Albert. But do you think maybe you're overworking yourself? Oh, don't worry. <laughs> the opportunity to see you here today is worth all the overtime in the world. You're certainly worthy of the limelight, Miss Robin. But I can't help but feel that you're a bird in a cage. Or perhaps, I should say, someone who's ready to spread their wings. Are we all, Miss Black Swan? Sometimes every bird is trapped in a cage, yearning to fly free and, and soar into the- All right, owl birds. We get the idea. No, no back to business. <laughs> From the letter Miss Robin gave to Mr. Sunday, we learned that during the preparations for the festival, she was the first to notice anomalies in Pentacone and began to investigate the traitor in the family. In the process, she suffered an accident and became a victim of death. But seeing how Firefly has reunited with the Trailblazer, I'm sure that death isn't the end of the story for her. Uh-huh. Yeah, Seasons are sure to unfold in the 2.2 story. But for now, let's take a look at Miss Robin's battle credentials. About time. Well, I'm a physical type character, following the path of harmony. My technique allows me to create a dimension around myself. Any enemies within this dimension follow me without attacking. After entering battle against enemies in the dimension, I can also regenerate additional energy. Even enemies are captivated by Miss Robin's star status. <laughs> my forte is working in sync with my team, offering support and buffs to everyone. Take my skill, for example, which enhances the total damage inflicted by our team. Or my talent, which allows me to regenerate additional energy whenever my allies attack enemies. And as a cosmic songstress, Miss Robin also integrates her songs into combat. When using her ultimate, Miss Robin belts out a morale-boosting number and enters a performative state. This state allows all allies to immediately take action while also providing buffs. But everyone immediately takes action again? Miss Robin is full of surprises. Yeah, she's a now really about that good song. buffer, apparently. Now that's a tune I can fight to. <laughs> what can I say? I love lifting spirits. When my ultimate is in play, I inflict additional damage on the enemy after each ally attack. Plus, I'm immune to crowd control debuffs. There's no doubt. You fully embody the path of harmony, Miss Robin. Spreading harmony has always been my mission. As a Halovian, I have the innate ability to transmit feelings and resonate energy through my halo, which aligns perfectly with my path. Okay, that song. Are there other ways to access it? I mean, we can't be asking you to go into battle every time we want to hear it. As a matter of fact, our audience is also very curious about Miss Robin's other songs. If I can stop one heart from breaking, for instance. Don't worry, don't worry! Miss Robin's upcoming album is right around the corner. She even took the opportunity to put together a special video for her fans. Mm. Play the tape! Hello everyone, this is Robin. My new album, Inside, will be released on May 9th. I have three songs to share with you this time. Life is filled with worries and sorrows, but I hope that while listening to my songs, you can let go of them for a while. Long time Aww. no see. I'm Serval, oh. the lead singer of the Bellabogian band, Mechanical Fever. Miss Robin's new album is about to be released. As a fellow musician, I really look forward to seeing what kind of tunes she'll be releasing this time. Finally, on behalf of all the Bellabogian fans, I'd like to ask, can you come to Bellabog for your tour? Hello, everyone. Sunday. I'm Sunday, representative of the family in Penacony. As a follower of the Harmony, Robin's powerful singing spreads harmonious melodies to all worlds. She is the family's pride and joy. I am delighted that her new album, Inside, will be officially released on May 9th. And as her older brother, I am very grateful for all the support that Robin receives. Thank you. TikTok! I'm thrilled to be chosen as the first representative to announce Robin's new album! 
Miss Robin's voice is the most beautiful in the universe! Mm, mm. The sound of her voice is so empowering! Mm. Let's all make sure to show our support for her newest album! Mm. Mm. It's cool hey, Grey check this out! Miss Robin's new album will be released on May 9th. Little Grey is here to tell everyone that it'll definitely be amazing. You do not want to miss out. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe! 大家好,我是悠悠露明,5月9号,知更鸟小姐的专辑就要上线了。她的歌声温柔动听,也很漂亮哦,一起期待她的新作品吧。What's up everyone, Jake Miller here, I heard Miss Robin's album is coming out soon and I'm so excited for it. I know her songs always bring many surprises, so let's look forward to her album together and I can't wait. See ya, bye. なんと5月9日にロビーさんの新EPがリリースということでおめでとうございます。銀河の歌姫として何かアドバイスをとメッセージをいただいたんですけれども、いやいやいや、もう私はアドバイスというよりは、でもあのいつか歌姫同士なん
That's why Boot Hill decided to visit the Astral Express, hoping to get some help from the Nameless. I see. But aren't Don Hong and Pom Pom the only ones currently on board the Express? Ooh, what's gonna happen? Uh-oh. <laughs> <sighs> Poor Don Hong. Albert's favorite part of the show. He can never get a break. Stuff. Not true. Uh, let's take a look at what Boot Hill can do on the battlefield. As a cowboy roaming the galaxy, Boot Hill has his own combat philosophy. He targets a single enemy with his skill and initiates a duel. During the duel, Boot Hill taunts the enemy, thereby enhancing his own basic attack. Both parties in the duel suffer increased damage from each other. Whoa, a duel? <laughs> Give him a shield. I that only happened in the movies. Boot Hill prefers a straightforward approach to resolving conflicts. And this is reflected in his talent. Every time a duel target is defeated or their weakness is broken, Boot Hill gains a stackable enhancement. When Boot Hill uses his ultimate, he inflicts physical weakness on the enemy, deals damage, and delays the target's action. Oh, such a cinematic ultimate! There's even a picture of the enemy on the wanted poster! Locking onto the target and striking with precision. Such a dashing cowboy. Boot Hill's technique allows him to inflict physical weakness on the enemy the first time he uses his skill after entering combat. Is this the power of a Galaxy Ranger? This is the power of beating them at their own game. Triumphing in duels makes Boot Hill stronger, and annihilating enemies leads to an overpowering evolution. Problems are dispatched in no time. And by problems, you mean people who present problems, right? Eh, same difference. <laughs> when you're on every other wanted list, you've got to get things done by hook or by crook. I see. So, being a cowboy and all, does Boot Hill order milk when he's at the bar? Huh? <laughs> uh, I think you've taken the cow part too literally, Miss Robin. <laughs> malt juice is more its speed. But isn't malt juice bad for you? Well, the IPC's files suggest that Boot Hill is prone to augmenting his fighting skills with invasive mechanical upgrades. For someone that's 90% machine, I'd say malt juice is the least of his concerns. Moving swiftly on, aside from the two characters we've already introduced, there's another special guest in version 2.2. One who's set to give a spectacular performance at the Charmony Festival. It's the one and only. Harmonious Choir, the Great Septimus! No. Oh, okay. Uh, you said they're also performing at the Charmony Festival? Correct. Are we sure they're not aiming to sabotage the festival? <laughs> well, that depends on who you're teaming up with. Good thing our trailblazer is an adaptable individual. To ensure this show goes off without a hitch, I brought along some detailed intel on Harmonious Choir, the Great Septimus. Once in battle, Harmonious Choir, the Great Septimus charges and unleashes semi-chorus, which allows all of its active summons to inflict damage on a single ally. In the second phase of battle, Ooh. after charging up, the Great Septimus uses chorus, dealing damage to all allies. Uh. Plus, all of the Great Septimus active summons will also deal extra damage to all allies. Ooh. During the second phase, the Great Septimus casts a shield on themselves, decreasing the damage they take and boosting the damage they cause to all allies, while making their own toughness impervious to damage. There isn't a third phase, right? In the third phase, this formidable foe becomes even stronger, unleashing defense-ignoring attacks that deal massive damage to all allies. Oh, nice. <laughs> Challenging adversary indeed. So... Are there any tricks we can use to defeat it? During battle, 
Trailblazers need to quickly target and break the weaknesses of the Great Septimus and its summon. Once all the summon's weaknesses are broken, the Great Septimus won't be able to use its semi-chorus ability, and the strength of chorus will be significantly reduced. Breaking the Great Septimus' weakness will also grant a shared shield to all allies. Now that I hmm. think about it, this version's promotional artwork gave some pretty strong hints on all this. I see. It seems that this was meant to be the Charmony Festival's main act all along. Oh, poor Trailblazers. Did you think you were coming to Panicone for a vacation? Is this what people <laughs> mean when they say rules are made to be broken? Huh. Why can't I see a baseball bat? There's no flaming lance either. Just a hat. <laughs> what observant guests we have today. We've only covered the basics. There's much more for Trailblazers <laughs> to explore and get to grips with. After completing the version 2.2 Trailblaze mission, Echo of War, Salutations of Ashen Dreams will become available. Complete this challenge to obtain Boot Hill's advanced trace level up material. Oh, of Lost course. Echo of the Shared Wish. Trailblazers in need of new materials should remember to save up on their weekly Echo of War rewards. And heads up, Trailblazers. Miss Robin's advanced trace level up material is past evils of the borehole planet disaster. <laughs> make sure you don't go chasing the wrong material. It'll Next fight the up, bug. We've got banner information for version 2.2. Oh, In 2.2's oh. first half warp event, Trailblazers can acquire the limited five star character Robin as well as the limited five star duo Topaz and Numbi. Not to mention the drop rates for the limited five star light cone. Glowing Night Glow and Limited Light Cone Worrisome Blissful will be boosted. In 2.2 second half warp event, Trailblazers can acquire the limited five-star character Boot Hill. The esteemed Master Diviner Fu Xuan will also be available in this banner lineup. I'm going At for Boot Hill. At the same time, the drop rates for the limited five-star Light Cone sailing towards a second life and okay. the light cone she already shut her eyes will be boosted looks like boot hill is in the middle of another mechanical upgrade and it seems like he already shut his eyes too <sighs> <sighs> and i almost <laughs> forgot to mention the brand new four star oh, like... the light cone boundless choreo will also be included in this war is that acheron dancing with black swan her outfit seems totally different this time. What happened? Some memories are better left unexplored. <laughs> uh, <laughs> time for a short break. In just a few moments, we'll be introducing version 2.2's brand new event. I'm like, that's my romantic Yuri dancing alone. <laughs> second phase but it's good to know that know it for sure now I feel bad for Dong Hong though every time he tries to take a vacation and not come to, to stuff he gets pulled in straight into version 2.2's events. Well, light code. Kick things off. Let me introduce Clocky Dream Joy Memoir. As you may remember in the 2.1 storyline, the screen at Clock Studios theme park was split in two. To restore yeah. the park to its former glory, Trailblazers must take on the crucial task of repairing the screen. But it wasn't the Trailblazers who broke the screen. And if I'm not mistaken, the screen wasn't the intended target, was it? <coughs> Adventuring. Excuse me. <laughs> anyway, the Nameless should be congratulated on their admirable screen-fixing spirit. In the Clocky Dream Joy Memoir event, 
Trailblazers are tasked with directing and editing films. Films that do well in test screenings will increase the park's box office revenue and attract investment. This money will go towards fixing the screen that was damaged. Can we try filming the whole thing in a single shot? Miss Robin, I'm afraid not every actor is cut out for that approach. As a professional international peace media host, I'm of the opinion that skillful editing can enhance a film's pace and emotional impact. In this artistic undertaking, the key to editing is the effective use of the time dice. By allocating the time dice to different scenes, it will bring about changes in the audience's emotional responses. Thrilling, comedic, or dramatic. Each film mm. must achieve certain key objectives to pass the internal screening. Oh. As they gain more recognition, Trailblazers will also have the opportunity to create commercials. Plus, they'll have the chance to explore the spin-off stories of supporting characters. <laughs> exactly! Successfully editing a classic <laughs> ending grants you side character spin-off reels, thereby revealing their corresponding extra stories. From mixology to directing, the Trailblazers have once again unlocked new skills in Penacony. But isn't this more like editing than directing? <laughs> well, I wouldn't put it that way. <laughs> During the editing process, Trailblazers have the chance to experiment with different plot directions and might end up with an ending that's completely different from the original storyline. Great stories often originate from notable historic events. You could even regard movies as a type of visual memory weaving together threads of memories to create one complete tale. It's quite impressive. Agreed! And after finishing the specified missions, Trailblazers will be rewarded with the event light cone for tomorrow's journey. Ah, it looks like a story that took place at some point on the Express. Oh. That's Pom Pom! Up there toasting and celebrating with Nameless of the Past! Yesterday's memories still linger, and while the conductor's companions may have changed, the trailblaze never ceases. Moving on, let's delve into the domain of the Galactic Baseballer. Funded by Giovanni, <laughs> the, the legend of the Galactic Inch. Baseballer is set to undergo an exciting round of testing in version 2.2. Ah, the same Giovanni from Ethereum Wars? That's right. After the success of Ethereum Wars, Giovanni has decided to sponsor a brand new game project in Pentacone. It is said that deep within the vast cosmos, the strongest baseball bat lies hidden. To find this bat, the galactic baseballer decides to leave home, embarking on an extensive search to locate the treasure. There are many factions interested in this bat, and the galactic baseballer must endure many challenges and defeat many foes in order to progress on. It seems that in every battle wave, the trail the galactic baseballer needs to defeat as many enemies as possible, gain experience, and level up their team. Precisely! After the team levels up, they can choose one of three random weapons or accessories. The weapons help our baseballer defeat enemies, while the accessories grant buffs to weapons or characters. Every weapon has a corresponding resonant accessory. My advice is to focus on leveling up weapons first. After achieving max level with the weapon and if in possession of its resonant accessory, the weapon can be leveled up to a legendary weapon, which greatly increases the galactic baseballer's fighting capabilities. Complete each planet's challenges. Earn raccoon tokens to enhance your fighting skills and accumulate cosmic reputation, which can be exchanged for rewards. Okay. Uh, the little raccoons in this event are so cute. And each planet has its unique charm. Just looking at them makes me want to join in the fun. How about our three guests make a prediction? Will the galactic baseballer get their hands on the ultimate baseball bat? <laughs> I think the name Galactic Baseballer might be a giveaway. <laughs> Moving on. Our next event is called All About Boot Hill. Oh. Hmm. And how exactly will everything be showcased? In this segment, we've adopted a character profile approach. You won't see Boot Hill, but you'll hear all about his legendary exploits. 
Well, rumor has it that Boot Hill has recently been involved in some major heists, with many entities, including the space station, suffering losses. Uh oh. <laughs> here, the IPC and others are planning to put a bounty on his head. With so many assignments available, I'd say it's a great chance to make a profit. Win C. Chi from the space station thinks the Trailblazers are well suited to the job and wants to recommend them to the IPC. The Trailblazers are joining the IPC? Uh, not exactly. More like a get rich quick scheme with friends. During the event, <laughs> The Trailblazers will have to complete various different assignments and gather more information on Boot Hill in exchange for assignment rewards. All I say is thank you, Mr. Wen Shi Chi. Profiting from assignments is one thing, but no underhanded tactics. Understood. <laughs> of course. Says <To> him. <laughs> Besides the fun events, version 2.2 presumably also has the nail biting, the hair raising. Oh. Dead warp chicken! <laughs> Trailblazers, don't forget to log in and claim yours. Let's also not forget that version 2.2 will be introducing Shape of Duty Stagnant Shadow. Successfully completing this challenge will grant you the character ascension materials, IPC work permit for Robin and Boot Hill. Well, given the relationship between the family, Boot Hill, and the IPC, I must say this ascension material is very specific. No sooner had the sun set than Boot Hill, pistol in hand, charged into the IPC. Bang, bang, bang! 65 gunshots later, he was back out again with 65 work permits. All for his own personal enhancement. The IPC work permit <laughs> is only used by senior employees. Mr. Albert, do you have one? You're a senior employee? Me? Well, I... Senior is a big word, but I suppose I, uh... <laughs> All right, we get it. Now, Calyx Butt of the Hunt will also be available in version 2.2. Completing challenges rewards you with the Meteoric Bullet Huntress materials. The double events Planar Fissure and Garden of Plenty are also back. Successfully challenging the simulated universe and Calyxes can earn you a set amount of double rewards. Make sure you take on the challenge, Trailblazers. Up next is the third redemption code. I'm interested in the Boot Hill event. That seems that seems kind of. Is it? He's not in the event, but we're learning about him. So at least that's nice. Also, I like Robin's little. Yo, go with the help, and the IPC bang, bang, bang walks out. <laughs> it really is me getting into that. <laughs> go on to Hoyo Lab for this and, and log in and just go click 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 and they'll give you the oh, the reward so you don't have to technically copy these down. I've been taking pictures just in case but into a few system optimizations, shall we? First up, a new function that shows battle records has been added to the Trailblazer profile page. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the friendless interface, you can now see the real-time status of your friends and find out what they're currently up to. For oh. example, whether they're currently in the simulated universe, the Forgotten Hall, etc. That's right. And in the Forgotten Hall and Pure Fiction, you can now see your friends' lineups as well as display your own lineups to your friends. Naturally, this is an <laughs> optional function that can be turned on or off at will. Version 2.2 will also bring in an improved team setup function, making it easier for Trailblazers to view the status of all setups. There's also oh, a new good. feature to tag characters, which ensures that tag characters are pinned at the top of the character bar. Ah, uh, Trailblazers will be able to prioritize their most frequently used and favorite characters. Well, time is money. That should make going into battle all the more convenient. Expect continuous improvements to the team setup function in future versions. Stay tuned, Trailblazers! <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. 
And finally, the digital version of the Ultimate Trailblazers Guide to Pentacone is officially out. The book includes behind the scenes stories of the Star Rail team creating Pentacone, exclusive hmm. interviews with the animated shorts team, and features original artwork from the shorts, a flash, and icor of two dragons. Trailblazers can view it on the official website or download the PDF version. Don't miss out. Oh, nice. With so much Ooh. awesome content. Is it really all for free? You better believe it. <laughs> In that case, I'll be taking this treasured memory with me. <laughs> and that brings us to the end of the version 2.2, then Wake to Weep special program. Whew, man. I can't wait to see the Charmony Festival. Here's hoping that 2.2 story provides Trailblazers with an unforgettable experience. I hope that when the truth comes to light, the gentle sun will shine upon all of Panacone. Here's wishing another very happy birthday to the Astral Express. Yeah. Woo I eagerly await our next encounter. I'd like to say a big thanks to our three guests. Oh, and a final reminder to all Trailblazers, don't forget to log in and claim your 1600 Stellar Jays and 10 Fuels from your mailbox. And that is well and truly a wrap. See you in the next one. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Hmm. That was pretty good. Huh? Wait, I... Oh, right! <clears throat> I have one final announcement to make. Panacone's dream abduction case is soon to hit the screens. Sparkle Star Rail Jazz Night is coming up on the Hoyo Fair channel following this program. Ladies and gentlemen, run for your lives. <laughs> run for your lives. <laughs> All righty. It's kind of interesting. They didn't talk anything about um, Harmony Trailblazer, so we don't really know um, <clears throat> what their kit is, but I guess it's one of those, oh, you'll find out. But, alrighty, let's hop over to Hoya Lab and pick up codes. Team Erica There you go. Yeah, they even put an expired number on here because I think a lot of people originally they were like uh, you know oh it's 24 hours and then and then and then for like Genshin it was like not 24 it was actually 15 and then they'd miss out on it and it was just kind of like oh no so got that I wanted to see what was here because apparently let's see Trailblazer, please claim your first anniversary thank you letter from Mahoyo. Own cakes. Let's see. Nemo's mystery reward. Participate in Honkai Star Wars check-in event to obtain 60 killer jades. Yes, the game also has a hundred, a thousand six hundred stellar jades that can be claimed. Don't forget to check and get them from your mailbox. Let's see, personal homepage background. Yeah, I think this is just the regular. Yeah, I noticed this before. Um, yesterday. Is it Honkai Star Rail's one year anniversary profile page background? 
Ah, here it is. I'll use it right now. It's kind of cute. Then, comment to get a permanent comment decoration. And it's permanent. Uh, additional merchandise reward. Everyone see your one anniversary cake. Post comment section to get version 2.1 character comment decoration. Okay, we just go down here and we go. Happy birthday, Onkai Zarel. Heart. Smiley face. There you go. Happy birthday! There you go. Okie dokie. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> I know. I know some people were getting really high expectations, and they were like, "Oh my gosh, maybe this will be a free adventurine." Oh my gosh, it's like. <laughs> You don't don't get you don't get your hopes up too high. <laughs> you just go crashing down. But there we go. Okay, and I think here is the Oh look, Sunday. She's so hot. I hope he's playable. Twenty five thousand people are watching this. Firefly and Firefly, Robin, Adventurine, Archeron, Sunday. He's so cool. Oh, all right. Okay, <laughs> I was gonna say, where's the rest of her arm? It's right here. It's, I could see the because I could see the black, but then all I could see was this. So I was like, wait a minute, where's the rest of her arm? It's like this. Her arm starts here, and then it goes out, and then her hand is right here, but it's facing towards us. Okay, so I get it. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Apparently, this has been going for. A half an hour? No, they did say it's supposed to start at 8.30, I think. But I checked it, so... They're just kind of warming up, but... 
I have unfortunately stuff to do, so I will watch this later when I get around to it. But, um... But, uh, thank you all for, for coming, and, uh, um, 2.2 seems to be pretty hype. And, uh, should I move that? <clears throat> you know, 2.2 seems to be pretty hype, and, uh, look forward to, uh, to rolling for Boot Hill and stuff. I, I'd like to get Robin, too, to be honest, but I don't have enough Stellar Gates, so <laughs> I'll, I'll have to wait for reruns and stuff. Also, I've been trying to save up for... For Sunday, um, although I don't know if he's going to be complainable or not, so we'll have to see. But all right, thank you so much for coming, and I will uh, see you next time. Um, I think let's see, next time I'm going to stream is going to be on Monday. We're going to do Hot Cocoa Corner and just kind of do an update of what's going on throughout the schedule. Lots of Genshin because I'm part of the Twitch streamer event, and I want to make sure I get enough hours in. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it, I did Arlequino's story quest yesterday. It was really good um very very nice balance between you know her caring about people but also her being arlequino <laughs> so that should be pretty fun all righty well thanks so much for coming and i will uh catch you later bye